back at the kangaroo. We have, uh, it actually looks pretty good from the front. You sandwich it in between some games and a lineup and it wouldn't be so bad. I still got to do the coin door and stuff. And, uh, but the cabinet's pretty rough. Um, this will never be a, an end game. So it'll always be buried in, in, in between a few. But uh, I figure we'll, we'll give it a shot and, and see what kind of cabinet work we can do since it doesn't really matter it's good to practice on it let's move around over here a little bit more we have that big chunk out of the corner here and there's a lot of big chunks out of the back and then when you get up close all of this is really blown out i just faked it with some black paint and Put some white along here and then some black along here. Just to make it look like it had T-molding for now. But we'll get that. The groove isn't too bad. Oh, I said it in the last video. What we'll do is we'll just get some uh, extra wide T-molding because it's a little thicker than normal. But I am going to use some of that wood hardener and then we'll try to clamp it together and see if we can get it a little bit of that done. And that stuff is super, super... Uh, strong smelling so i'm gonna have to clear this room out and open up some windows and stuff not a big deal i just don't want to drag it all the way outside and uh it takes i think 12 to 24 hours to harden the wood so we'll have uh we'll have to wait on that we'll at least hopefully get it done in this video but i do want to get everything yanked out right now and then we'll put the cabinet on the furniture dolly Spin it around like a lazy Susan and then figure out, we'll probably start on the back, flip it over on its face and then work on the back along the back edge to start with. I want to practice somewhere uh, not, you know, on this side. A little inconspicuous is what I'm looking for. Stick around. We'll take a little look at all the problem areas and then we'll get started. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked. Got the mallet in my grasp. Waiting for the moles. Ha, hiding in their holes. Score, we're keeping tally. I'll be playing till they close now. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. Can't nobody beat my high score. You can't beat my high score. I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster. You can ask my baby, it starts slow, then gets faster. I'm a record setter. This is the good side. <clears throat> well, <laughs> the better side, except for the giant, like three foot long gouge through the middle of the art. But if you can't see it, or it's hard to see, then good. It's right here. I did hit it with touch-up paint. Let me get out of the light. So it goes from like right here from, looks like he's doing a number two on our art and goes all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, catches here, and then goes all the way down here. Now I know you can see this, but this is a little bit harder to see. And I just touched it up with uh, some paint markers or paint pens and just kind of drew what was there. And it's <clears throat> it's not exact color match, but from back here, it looks pretty good. And my thing is, I just want to take away from noticing it, which brings me to this. You definitely can see the white is different color, and I didn't get it in very good. The white was almost gone. But what I want to do is, I think, just sand this all the way off. And I did find a good uh, paint chip that I'm going to see if somebody can paint match for me. And if not, I'm not, not gonna be too upset about it. I think as long as we try to get as much of this paint repainted as possible so that when it sticks out in front of another cab, this I think looks terrible. And I don't know if we can get a good shot of this. I know the other side is worse, but it's actually like raised and then it's raised all around these edges here. And I like the edges. I like this front to be as nice as possible. 
And then same thing on the inside, like here. I'd like to get that nicer. Like this isn't a big deal, it's behind the marquee, but um, it's good spots to practice on and stuff. And then see, we have the tops not too bad on this side. <laughs> and then we come around, bring a light with us. Yeah, so we have a bunch of these little chunks taken out back here, which nobody will ever see if it's in a lineup, but it'll be good practice for that 720 cabinet we find for free that's absolutely trashed. I don't know. <laughs> and then down here at the bottom, I think we're going to end up probably just cutting some off. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how, how bad it is when we flip it up. But we could always cut <clears throat> some of this off the bottom and then uh, put a new piece of wood. And we'll definitely like do that with a corner here and on the uh, front corner over there. And I, I know like this piece has probably got to go. Maybe not. I mean, it's in the back. Just because it's got all the original paperwork and stuff on it. And then this is the probably the worst of it there and i think we should <laughs> this is why i think we should do it and then just try to build this up in the back and it's it's dry but it's crumbly <clears throat> yeah i i think the, the more i mess with it I, I think the more i shouldn't mess with it <clears throat> excuse me at least this this edge maybe we'll try to to get it somewhat of a 90 degree on this side and then just leave this side and not worry about it. But I think the touch up paint, you see my uh, yellow, I actually, I started on this, which needed to be the gold and it was a better match for this up here. I think I just used the wrong pen in the wrong spot. And you can see where it got really bad over there. I think that was just somebody threw it in their truck probably the guy who brought it to me so and i'm not worried about it i mean it, it looks fine compared to everything else that's on the cabinet <laughs> let me spin it around and we'll look at that side she's a beauty <laughs> that's awful that's the corner i'm talking about so this is a probably out of what people will see on this cabinet is probably going to be the the worst and it's same thing but i think well Wherever I need to, we'll just cut across and then I'll just redraw this or repaint this. We'll just cut it across and put a new piece of wood in there. And I'm thinking countersink screws into this back here, if possible. You can see where this is real swollen and all wavy. And then you can see where it's, that what I painted there just falling off. It's bad. But we won't worry about, you know, this back edge so much. I don't know that it, it's savable. I think we'd have to just take this whole side off really. And I, I don't feel like doing all that to this cabinet. I'm ready to move on to the next one. We can find a, a better title and one that's more worthy of uh, all the efforts, but we can get this one looking good. Um, where I'm gonna start, I guess, is sanding on the, uh, well, I need to, I need to pick, what I'll do is I'll pick where we're going to start, I guess. Once I get it over on its side, I got to take out uh, the boards and everything. And the uh, transform. It's all been out of here already. I just threw it back in because I figured out how to get the game going again after it quit on me. But yeah, we need to figure out where we're going to start. Because I think this this edge is where I was planning on. I think that's a lost cause. I think we're gonna have to take off too much of that loose stuff to get to any sturdy wood to bondo to. That it's just not possible. Let's go ahead and we'll just do the other side and we'll figure out what to do about this side. This side we might just continue on like I was doing. See, this is better up here. So if we can get a fake edge on this, this top part going up and around here and then the front down to this corner and then we'll 
We'll see if we can't fake it down here. I just want to get it better and less noticeable. <laughs> just put some, put a piece of angle iron right on the back corner over there, like a skid plate. <laughs> All right, uh, let me pull the rest of this junk out and uh, figure out where we're going to work on it at. And I think this stuff is just set in here. I don't think I set anything. In with screws, but you never know. I had everything out of it already, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Watching old footage always helps, though. I'm going to put new edge connectors on this harness. These things are just mangled. Probably should get new ribbon cables, too. I think I finally fixed the Mega Touch Evo. And I haven't uh, haven't really looked at it in a long time. Well, since that first day I was messing with it. I don't know if anybody remembers it, but it was all it is is a ribbon cable. Let's see. Is this actually no, okay, this is just set in here. I want to try to find a spot where we can at least do a little bondo in this video. <clears throat> Something that maybe won't need the uh, wood hardener, but I, I think it probably all will. Because it definitely can't do any of this crap here. That's too much. We could probably do like something like this. I mean, it needs the wood hardener, but it really wouldn't matter. Could probably do that just for some practice. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this wiring in here. I don't really care. And that'll be fine. Pull this guy out. My quick disconnects. <laughs> oh, I might get to show you guys my new uh, tool soon. Actually, I'll just go get it right now because I haven't had a chance to show anybody really. got the DeWalt heat gun. It's got high and low settings. It was, normally it's 110 or 119 or something like that. And I ended up, I got it for $2, tool only. But uh, I used a gift certificate and I got the gift certificate from playing them little phone games that pay you to play games. It's like, you get $2 here, $2 there, but you know, after a couple months or so, then $2 add up. And I play little phone games anyway, so. But I, I like free DeWalt tools, so I'm going to keep doing it. And they don't pay me to tell you who they are, so I'm sure you can figure it out. They're all over. It's on Google Play. You can't do it on the App Store. They don't have them on Apple. Okay, so there we go. Fairly empty except for my little goofy speaker. But definitely gonna clean this crap out too. That is grody. But uh, I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move all of the stuff from the game. And then we got the monitor and the work table and stuff over here and I'll move that. And then we can lay, we should be able to lay the cabinet right in this area, right where we're standing, right? Yeah. So give me a second, I'll do that, and then uh, we'll get started somewhere. So I think we should start with this back piece here. Again, it really should be replaced, but if we start replacing stuff, we're just gonna end up replacing everything, and I don't have that kind of time. Um, but this piece has got some damage on it. It's a little swollen. Let's see if we can get a good look at it this way. So it's, it's a little spongy this way, and you can see it's just about that much on either side that's soft, which we can put the wood hardener on that. But I figured to start, let's uh, go ahead and sand 
the top of this off and get it all nice and smooth. And like I said, we're just faking this. It's uh, This is a, the bottom back. And you can see here how much we don't have like any corner left of that. So we'll have to add our own corner there. Pretty much the same thing over here. So that's fun. Oh, let me show you this. Let's see. Let me get in the light. This is what we're working with here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty much all coming off. Got a nice pile going already. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if, if it's even doable, but we're gonna have to try to do a little something just to let's just get a good clean line. Like I said, if we have to just cut this off and and put a new piece of board down there and feather it in and repaint the bottom of this art here. The bottom's pretty solid though, aside from that, it's just the, uh, <clears throat> just this crumble board they used is what sucks. But let me uh, grab the sander and I'll get set up and then we'll just, and that, that way we don't have to video or you don't have to watch a whole lot of video of me sanding either. Let me buzz that off of there real quick. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to use uh, 120 on it, I think. I don't think it's going to be very stubborn at all to come up. And then uh, we might try some uh, wood hardener on just this section right here. And then uh, maybe try to... <laughs> it's a little bit better than this is down here anyway. And it's not bad. Well, on that side it's not bad. Oh, my light's going dead. Hang on, let me get another battery in my light. But uh, we might try this. Well, I guess we could at least put some. This is really crumbly here. I'll try to get this some more after we get done sanding this. I'm just trying to find a spot where we can try some Bondo, but everything is kind of junk. Well, this board isn't bad. Maybe we could do just like this corner here. We could do that, I bet. That'll work. All right, let me grab a battery for that light. Um, out of big ones. Here. We don't need the five amp hour on the sander. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, we got another five. I think this one's got juice in it. Yeah, it's good. I forgot and I left the light sitting on for about an hour while I was doing something else. Okay, there we go. And so this is the new sander. It's a DCW210. It's uh, the random orbital sander. And uh, I paid, actually paid up for this one. It was 119, so it's like full price. But it came with a free five amp hour battery, which is like uh, anywhere from like 120 to 150 bucks. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Not a bad deal. Maybe we do need a heavier grid. than that. Maybe it just takes a little bit. Oh, 
much stuff. Doing pretty good. Been running real stable, no problems or anything like that. Still got to do the uh, round mob to it and uh, repin all the connectors, redo the header pins and stuff. No worry on that though. This is gonna take a freaking hour and a half or two hours. So I'll skip ahead until getting close to the end and I'll fast forward through all this crap so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it. Be right back. Operation Wolf. If you don't like this video game, then fuck you. Yes. <laughs> I got a lot of the waviness out of it a, a lot of it but not all of it like right in here it's still pretty thick um, there's not a whole lot to clamp to but this side up here we can use like a couple pieces of board and clamp so that it presses evenly all the way across it but i think this this board will is, is a good candidate for what we're doing anyway so we can uh get some practice on this one almost just knock it out of there probably could but we're gonna leave it in there because it's not very good practice to work on a board that's just sitting outside of the cabinet this will will be uh, fair to work on the, the whole side rail I mean it'll be good experience either way um, it's that's about as much sanding as I'm gonna do on this though you need to pour the uh, wood hardener on there but I'm gonna stand it up I think actually I'm gonna I'm gonna puncture some holes in here there are a few staple holes and then pour some down in the holes I saw somebody else do that and actually I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't have enough clamps I'm gonna stand this up and we'll do this actually before that we do that I want to sand that Oh, I gotta sand all the way up there. That will that'll be a whole another 
part of a video, I mean, and I won't be able to put all that on camera. And all the sanding is just kind of boring to watch. But we'll go ahead and stand this up, I guess, and then I'll I'll figure out how I'm going to clamp this. And actually, I'm going to sand a little bit on the inside here. It's pretty gross. Make sure I get all this loose crap off. Because if we have all this loose stuff here, it's just going to... Yeah, it's just crumbling away like it is over here. And then let me sand that off, too, before we start. But since it's uh, nice and wide and open and on the side, kind of like this is, we can easily get something in here and, and clamp it down a little bit better. I only have, like, really, like, two good clamps. Two that are decent, and then two that are about as much help as the talent. But uh, let me uh, let me go ahead and sand this down, and then we'll stand it up. And I'll try to find a couple boards, or I'll cut a couple that'll fit in there. That'll work though. And once I pour the uh, the wood hardener on it, it will uh, it's gonna kill the atmosphere, and it takes overnight. So that'll be the end of the video once we do that. So. I'll look and see if there's anything we can cover or how much time. I don't know how long we're at. And I sanded for a long time, and I'm going to hopefully cut that down a little bit because it was like 15 minutes or something like that. That's a little boring. I don't think we have any funny audio I could play over it or anything. It feels a lot better, but right there, right in here, they took a lot of water damage. You can feel, I, and I, I had the sander on there for a good amount of time. It was all raised. And then right in here, right there, it's uh, probably soaked in here. That's what it did. And it's really fat right there. Oh, <laughs> it's not as fat as I think. The black is just sanded off in a big circular shape, so it makes it look bowed. But yeah, definitely got to sand on the inside. And then we'll figure out the next step, I guess. take a look at this side too now before I zoom in down here towards the bottom about let's see where's that about this much is just completely shot it, it's it's all you can just feel it and you can probably see it in the art itself it looks like a the texture of a, outside of an orange it's awful but luckily it's real low and nobody's going to notice it down there. But it's the same up here where it's, it's just shit until you get up in here a little bit farther and, and it starts to get better up the side. It's not great, but it's better. So we might be able to do something and help that along. I, I know we'll be able to do something and it'll look better, but hopefully, uh, I just hate to scratch away so much of this that I've screwed myself because we can't, still can't get any. I'll then at that point, I'm gonna have to put a side on it and get some new side art, which at that point I'd have to do the other side too because one side with new side art when the other side is as bad, it's just, that's just bad. That's, that's what I'm avoiding. I'm gonna have to build a, a cabinet one piece of wood at a time. But hopefully, and this is just the back of the cabinet, mind you, we can get this to, to look a little better. And if we can do that, then we can do the whole thing because this is probably the worst of it that's visual anyway. But if that wood hardener works better than I expected to, we should be all right. We'll just have to, hopefully they can match this paint. And um, I don't think they will, but I still don't think anybody's really going to notice. When, when you walk up to a game, are you, like, looking at the back of it? Are you like, oh, man, is there any scratches on the backside? Or is there a is that tea molding match? Is it the right width? Nobody ever even looks at that stuff, really, unless they're collectors and they've been looking at the game longer than five minutes. If you walk up to one and play it, you're not going to pay attention. If you walk up to it with a bunch of collectors and you're staring at it, everybody's going to pick it apart which there's no way you're going to get around that on this game anyway. But I think, I think this is doable over here. And like I said, it, we, we have a good spot where we can clamp, you know, a board on here going down. And that's really going to help to, to push this in because my clamps are not going to be great. But that I can do. So I, I, think, uh, I think that's doable too. 
So I'm happy about that. I, I, I thought we were going to have to walk away from that part of it. All right, let me get some stuff. Okay, we'll catch a look at it here. I got it clamped in. I even got the little Mike Dixon clamps helping out in the middle here. So what I'm going to do is take the... Uh, I didn't get the exact kind of uh, wood hardener I wanted, but it had uh, high reviews. Highest, highest reviews of what products were left. It was this and that was it. Um, but these are squishing it together so that we're going to hopefully get it to where it's the same size. I, I mean, it's, it's never going to be the same size, but maybe even close. <laughs> if, it, if we can shrink it any without sanding it, it'll be great. But what we're going to do is harden it up so that it doesn't stretch back out. But this is really a test run for doing this side over here. And we can do the same thing. We'll squish this together, if you can see that. And then put this down in there, and then we can bondo over it. Hang on one second. And I think I just have to shake this stuff up. I don't know. Let's read the instructions real fast. I did last night, but I don't remember now. Area to be treated must be dry, free of dirt, and we got that covered for the moment. Uh, remove loose, and, loose paint, flaky wood. We did that. Okay, it says, okay. Like how I was talking about if we needed to put some on the top, you can drill down into it and, and drip it down in that way. Generously apply by pouring, spraying, or brushing. Repeat until area is fully saturated. Two or more coats give best results and allow to cure overnight. It's after cured, fill holes in missing areas with paste epoxy, blah, 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 blah. So I have company right now, so I'm not going to ruin this end of the house with the steak. So that was going to be like early, earlier today and, and had other things to do other places, but I'm still here. <laughs> but I got to use my old little family of clamps and mini clamps. These little guys are like $2. I don't even know what you would really use it for, like cell phone repair or something. But... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I probably should be using better C clamps, but hopefully these will do it. I've come back and, and checked. And at first I could tighten them a little bit more, but I think that's just because they had help. Once they had help, they could squeeze down a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just going to pour it on. Um, this one isn't as bad, so I'm not just going to dump it all over the place. But when we start getting up into these ones over here on the side, we may just have to just douse it and, and get a bottle for each side or something like that. We'll see. But I'm willing to try it. We'll at least try it down here in the safe area where it's kind of messed up and kind of safe. And then we'll kind of know, right? <laughs> but let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And... Uh, the other thing I was wanting to ask you guys is paint matching. I have a piece of the paint, the white paint from the side art. Who do you guys have better luck paint matching with, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot? Let me know in the comments. Thanks. Thanks for watching. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Super what am hang I going to get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.